Hello and welcome to the Crafty Corner. Today we're going to be playing with backgrounds. And if you're anything like me, then you might just have a few laying around. And of course, each one of them is too special and too unique to just use on any old project. So, go ahead and pause to find out exactly what you're going to need for today's project. We're going to be making some jewelry out of our backgrounds. All right, let's head over to the crafty corner. Do you ever find yourself with amazing scraps and tags that you just can't bear to part with? You can't even bring yourself to put them on a card? Well, I'm going to show you how to turn some of these fabulous pieces of paper into art that you can wear. We're going to take these scraps and turn them into a pendant, a bracelet, and a set of earrings. This is a fun, easy way to save and preserve those wonderful scraps that you just haven't been able to bring yourself to use. All right, let's make some jewelry. Okay, to start with, we're going to make our cabochons. Cabochons are little glass pieces that have pieces of paper or other ephemera adhered to them. These are then in turn placed in bezels to create our jewelry piece. For this first step, we're going to want some of our glossy accents. And we're gonna start with the pendant piece. We're going to choose a piece of the paper that we really like. Oh, this corner is great. It's got some red and green, and I'm going to place some of my glossy accents over the top of the bezel. For this, we want a fairly good coverage, just like that, and then we're going to press it down onto our paper. I'm going to line it up and press. It's completely okay if we have a little bit of runoff on the sides, that is expected. And we can wipe some of that off using a pick. Okay, that looks good. Let's set this one aside for now. As a side note, I also want to add that instead of placing our cabochon directly onto the paper with glossy accents, we could take our paper and make a hole punch. This is a one inch circle punch and it fits perfectly for our cabochon. So for this step, all you would do would be to add your glossy accents and stick it down on top of your pre-cut circle. So two methods and both work really well. Now let's take a look at the piece for the earrings. For this, we're going to want to use our smallest pieces. And again, we'll just spread a little bit of glossy accents over the top, stick it down on a part that we like. Hmm, I like that corner right here with all the gold in it. Grab the other one and do the same thing. We'll push it down with our finger. Check for excess. And set this aside to dry. Now the last piece that we're going to do, we're going to want to get some of this butterfly wing. That is absolutely fantastic. So I will grab my cabochon add some glossy accents and we'll stick that over the butterfly. Press it and wait for it to dry. Now depending on where you are glossy accents is going to take a little bit more or less time to dry. It all depends on the environment you're in. In Canada it's pretty humid here and I like to give my things extra time to dry. If you're in a drier climate, 
it might take less time. I'm going to leave these pieces to sit for about two hours before I come back and check on them. And to make sure that these do not get air bubbles in between the cabochon and the paper, I'm also going to add a heavy book over the top. All right, let's go ahead and pause and we'll be back in two hours. We are back. Let's take our heavy book off of the cabochons and see what happened. So that looks pretty good. This is nice and adhesed to our paper. The little ones are looking pretty good. And what about our bigger ones? That looks good. I'm not seeing any air bubbles, so that is a very good thing. Okay, next we need to cut these off of their backgrounds. I'm just gonna grab my tonic scissors and give these a very quick trim. Now I'm going to try to trim these down as much as I can and then I'll have to go back in with a nail file to get rid of some of the edges. So I'm cutting as close as I can to the cabochon to get rid of the extra overhang. Okay, now I'm going to take a nail file and sand off the edges until this is nice and smooth. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we're just going to set this aside and I will fast forward the next part as we cut and sand down these little ones. Now that our cabochons are all nice and trimmed, it is time to place them in the bezels. So let's start with the one that we made for the bracelet. For this, I'm going to pick up the empty bezel and we're going to add some more glossy accents. I'm going to put this on here and just make little circular motions until I have a nice covering. Don't need a lot because we don't want it to seep out the edges. Then I'm going to take the cabochon, make sure it's facing the right direction, and place it firmly into my bezel. And I can turn it a little bit with my fingers if it's slightly off center. It's in, give it a little push, and we'll set that aside. Next, let's take a look at the little earring bezels. So I'll hang on to this, add my glossy accents, and add my cabochon. Put it in the way I like it. That's looking pretty good. We'll give it a push and set aside. And then we'll do the same thing for this one. Now for the pendant, I ended up doing two of these. This is the one that we made on camera, but I wanted to see how a couple of small collage elements would look too. I added a ideology word sticker and a teeny little 
heart that I had left over from some earlier die cuts. I'm going to put this one into the pendant just as an example to show you that you could do multiple pieces of paper on a collage or you can simply cut out a favorite background. Either way works really well. Okay, now that these pieces are stuck down with some glossy accents, we're going to leave them for about another two hours and our little project will be complete. Okay, let's now check out what we made. Here are our finished pieces. The glossy accents has dried really nicely on this piece. We have now saved a fantastic background and turn it into a piece of wearable art. Now all we have to do is add a chain. So I'll just take my needle nose pliers and pop open this jump ring and then we can add the pendant. There we go, wearable art. And our bracelet is looking really nice. Got the butterfly on there and it's now set in its own bezel. And here are the earrings, ready to wear. Thank you for joining me today on making backgrounds into wearable art. Until next time, have a crafty day.